Hello everybody, my name is James Catchpool and I've written a book and the book I've written is about what it's like as a child when you look different from everyone else. That's something that I know a bit about because, well look, I don't have any, uh, as Alex Brooker would say, hand issues, but I am missing a whole leg, which is why I have these for running around. So I wrote a book about a boy who looked a lot well, it looks a lot like I did when I was young. Normally before I read this book, if I'm reading it to an audience, mostly of children without any hand issues or leg issues, any limb differences whatsoever, I normally feel I have to get out something stupid like a, a silly hat like that to try and give them an idea that they can understand of what it would be like to look different from everyone else. I say, look, what it, what it would be like if you went to the playground with a hat on like this, everyone would look at you and ask you questions. And you might be comfortable with that and you might not, but imagine you could never take the hat off. I don't think I need to do that for you guys, do I? Anyway, as a small boy, whenever I went into the playground, people would look at me and ask me questions. And as a grown up, I thought, what would have happened as a small boy if I had managed not to answer those questions? What would have happened then? That's what this is about. What happened to you? I'll give it a read. You can see what you think. Pictures are by Karen George, by the way. So here's Joe. He gets to the playground. First thing he does... Chucks his crutches down, because they're not much use when you're running around a playground. Takes his crutches off, throws them to the floor, and gets playing. Joe was playing his favourite game. It had sharks. Possibly crocodiles. Good old shark there, isn't it? Oh, but crocodiles and sharks were no match for pirates like Joe. Not this time, Senor Shark Face. Sharks were easy compared to kids Joe hadn't met yet. Here comes all of them now. <laughs> what do you think she's going to say? You can probably guess, can't you? <laughs> You've only got one leg, said a kid. Yep, said Joe, and you've just squashed my shark. What happened to you? said the kid. But Joe didn't feel like telling that story. So he just said, what do you think? Um, the kid didn't know how to answer that. But another kid did. Did it fall off? No said Joe. A third kid thought that was silly. Legs don't fall off, she said. And kid number four agreed. He asked, oh, was it a burglar? And kid two thought very hard and said, did it fall off in the toilet? No, and no, said Joe. This is a trick, isn't it? You're hiding it, said kid number five. No, said Joe, and stop staring at my bottom. I'd like to say that doesn't happen, but it does. There were more questions. But where's your leg? Here? Which Joe did try to answer. But where's your other leg? What other leg? Although some of them, was it a lion, were a bit silly. Was it a thousand lions? Yes, said Joe. It was a thousand lions. Really, said the kids. No, shouted Joe. I wonder if any of you can relate 
to how Joe feels at this particular moment. Well, I don't know if you agree, the questions themselves are quite funny. They're actually questions that children have all asked me. The thing is, Joe's heard them all before. He's heard them all before. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Joe was playing his game again. But this time, Kid One said, Is that a crocodile down there? And Joe said, well, yeah, I, th I think so. My name is Simone, said Kid One. My name's Joe, said Joe. And there are sharks down here too. They especially like to eat pirates. Pirates, said Simone. Pirates, said Joe. Cool, said Simone, and Uto, and Casper, and Meany, and Ibrahim. And all the kids seemed happy with that. Later, Simone asked, Do you ever get bored of that question about your leg that you don't have? What do you think? said Joe. Simone did know how to answer that. But Joe had a question of his own. Do you still need to know what happened? No, said Simone. And Joe seemed happy with that. Thanks, everyone. I hope that's given you something to think about. And maybe something that speaks to something in your own life. Who knows? But I hope it does. Thanks for listening.